What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Restoring Hope for Hass. If you are enjoying this series, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanted to watch these races live, you can head over to my Twitch, go follow there. And I try and stream most days, usually every other day, um, depending on my work and school. But uh, so yeah, if you did want to watch these episodes live, go ahead, uh, follow over there. If you want to keep watching on YouTube, that is also fine as well. But anyway, we're going to get into the episode, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Oh, boy. Look at this. So in qualifying and in the race, we've got a bit of rain. No one moved in the, the mid-season. I think they were done a while ago. You can see we're right at the back with Williams, uh, Alfa Romeo, and Aston Martin. A way up there, but we do, have a, we do have two big upgrades coming in before Russia, so that should boost us up. And that is even worse. Oh, we don't have enough fuel on board. Okay, I wouldn't... I tried going down the gear 4, but it didn't go down for some reason. Uh, it cost me... I mean, for the first time this season, or one of the first times this season, um, it might even be the first time this season, Mazepin is um, ahead of us. He might out-qualify us. I think if he, have, he would out-qualify us for the first time this season if he gets us here. But, I mean, part of an excuse we have is we've gone for a wet setup. So, but we've got one more lap to change that. It's got to be done this lap, otherwise we've been out-qualified by a teammate for the first time this season. Coming down into turn one. Not... A smoother, but it's nowhere near as good as it could have been. Um, only a tenth up in the sector that we lost most of the time to our teammate. Oh, there we go. It's better through there. Even though he took the bump a little bit. Went a little bit wide. There's where we lost a lot of the time and we've gained it a lot back through there. We're only two temps up on our time. Uh, I think it was that two and a half temps he beat us by. So we've got to perfect this last corner. As we do break a little bit later. But we miss the apex completely. We're going to get a better run down towards the line is it going to be enough to start us ahead of our teammate in the race no it's not we have been out qualified by nikita mazapin for the first time this season on raw pace p18 i mean you could blame a lot of it down to the setup but at the end of the day i just didn't put the lap in and look how close that is as well i messed it up at the last corner i could have probably st stuck it tighter as well wow p18 not looking too great. I mean, at least at least I moved off the back row, but it's going to be a wet race. Anything can happen. There you go, Lewis. Hamilton. He might be able to make a comeback in this championship now, but where's the Red Bulls at? Oh, wow. Lando Norris has, has got P3, so... Perez, the um, championship leader, he's down in 8th. Hopefully, or 7th, I mean... Hopefully there's some penalties. There we go. Mazepin up in a P14. We're up in a P15. So a few penalties out there. Sonoda, Alonso and Ocon. So both the Alpines taking penalties. Um, a bit weird that they've both done it on the same weekend. But, I mean, I guess it's not a bad weekend to do it because it is raining. Chance of safety car is high. Mate, I'll give you a race worth watching when I... Go bowling into all the cars up ahead. Let's not put it into the back of the Alfa Romeo. And we are trundling off the line. And we can't find pace right now. I can't find any grip. And that's already the Alfa Tauri coming up the inside. I'm breaking really early. Oh boy. Williams is... Oh, it's the Alpine. Diving down the inside, but we've got the inside covered. Through the chicane. Boy, we are very, very scared to put down the full throttle. We're not going to be able to hold up the Alpine. 
Latifi though, he ain't going past us. Oh, as we look for a move, the Alpine was about to cut us off big time. But I'll tell you what, we got that done. We're up at a P16. We've only lost one spot off the start to George Russell. So it's not been an awful start to this race. The car is still on the track, which is good news. And now we're going to try and keep with these cars ahead. So we're going to cover off the inside. He's no damage. I locked up the tyres. I think we might have gone away with that. But it is on standard damage, so... We might have a little bit at the front that we don't know about. And now this is where cars are going to just breeze past us. You can't do that, mate! It keeps... Um, okay, now we definitely have damage. Not enough to pit, by no means. Only the front. But... So, like right in the middle. But it's the way that Ocon just weaves off the racing line. We have absolutely no pace around here. Does not feel good at all. I feel like I'm going to bin it any second. So we almost go into the grass. But wow, we have absolutely no pace. <laughs> this is not pretty at all. And bloody Williams lock, lock us off. And now we are down to P20. Probably where we belong. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. And that's the Williams of Nicholas. Latifi almost spinning it. I think we saved him, to be honest. We might have caught him as he was spinning, but... Just like that, a safety car can happen. and change the whole complexion of this race. I think this wing damage is having a little bit of an effect on us. But really, the pace we have is just not there. Some cars have come in. Well, we're going to have to come in now. It's definitely intermediates. Right, come in at the end of this lap. Fantasy would be a pretty cool idea. Yeah, I do do a fantasy. Um, so we find viewers where the bloody hell does that come from? Um, yeah, so if you want to join a Discord, you can we'll talk about F1 in there. And I'm going to add some more stuff into it to make it look better. Um, hopefully uh, other people can help me because I'm not too knowledgeable when it comes to Discord. Go, go, go. How do we still get held up by Latifi, man? <laughs> I mean, one of the Mercs shops back. wonder if he uh, hadn't put it yet. Too greedy on the brakes there. Okay, you've been pushing your luck on the track limits too much. We've been given a three second penalty. Yeah, copy that. Well, even a safety car wouldn't be good now because that three second penalty is a killer. But, um. No, we just. Overcooked it going into the braking zone. We got too excited. Too cocky uh, on the brakes and. I'm like looking in the bottom left, I don't know why. Just focus on my own race. Mate, we're doing high jump or something. What the bloody hell was that? You see that bullshit? Perez is up. That's P19 guaranteed, but no safety car. Too late for a safety car. Oh, it's not too late for a safety car. Could have had a bit of drama for the last three laps. We could have caught up to the back of the field. I mean, there's a 50-50 chance that Tifi finishes or puts it in a wall. He's that type of driver. So we have to hope that he puts it in a wall. Let's go. Mate, surely not. Surely not. They're not going to force me to retire again after 24 laps of pain. We have five laps of fuel remaining. If they make me retire, I'm going to be fuming. Absolutely fuming. Okay, 
looks like a mechanical failure. We're going to have to ask you to find a safe spot to retire. Sorry about that. I repeat, find somewhere to retire immediately. It's too dangerous to stay on track. Mate, this is back-to-back -back race weekends. What is going on at Haas? You know, Mazepin's car seems all right. His dad's funded all the money to the team. Mate, you got to stop somewhere, mate. There you go. They, they come on the radio, he's like, we've got a problem. I'm like, I've done 24 laps in the wet. You know, I, I pain. Just to tell me that I was retired. I was literally just saying that I could have retired this car, saved the engine components for later races. But no, I wanted to finish the race. Uh, and then the blooming cars had a problem and I've had to retire it anyway. Can't believe it. It's two races in a row. I've had a mechanical issue. Hamilton gets P2. He's moving up in the championship. Ferrari winning our home Grand Prix. I don't know where they found that pace from, but Leclerc, what a drive. What's going on at Haas? This is this is tragic. Well, Charles Leclerc wins in the home Grand Prix, so... Uh, Ferrari are going to be buzzing about that. Hamilton P2, Bottas P3, so Mercedes back up there. Red Bull having troubles as well with the engine issues, and um, so are we P19. You know, you still got to show a penalty, haven't you? Even though I didn't finish, pricks. P19, we were almost a second faster than our teammates on the inters with the fastest lap time. I mean, we could not be consistent at all. But Mazepin getting P16, that's, I think that's his best result all season. So um, good job to him. He uh, put in a good shift. But P19, we had that awful race. Had to endure a wet race, you know, we were just driving, enduring the pain. And then with three laps to go, they tell us we can't even finish the Grand Prix. Perez, his lead has been chopped down by Verstappen. He's only three points clear in the Drivers' Championship. Bottas only 27 behind and Hamilton is closing that gap as well. So that looks like it could be a very good championship fight between the four of them. Um, McLaren and Ferrari are also battling each other. Look how close they are. Jesus. Look how close McLaren and Ferrari are. Norris and Leclerc separate at one point. Same with Ricardo and Sainz. Us down here, nothing's really changed. I mean, still ahead of Lance Stroll, even though he's in a much better car. I think that sums up Lance Stroll right there. So... We're doing, we're doing good. Hanging on to P14. Uh, Aston Martin did get more points this weekend. So really, I think the rest of this season is us just holding on to 8th place. We don't have to get any more points. I think it's almost assured. So, yeah. Well, we will be back next week. Uh, or next weekend. Race weekend, that is, uh, for another race. I believe it's Russia. We do have a couple upgrades upgrades coming in. Hopefully. I mean, Hopefully. We don't have another mechanical issue, otherwise I might flip my shit because that's going to be bloody bullshit. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys had a good day and um, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Peace.